anyone want? Oh, forget it. It's not my concern. Close enough. Boring. Everyone hold hands. Boba, get them. Come on, we can do it. Need more. Hey. I'll take my place. Grow, grow, grow. Boring.
In the thousands of years that have passed, I have taken countless wraiths. If you want no trouble, stay away from me. See me as a weapon. If it's useful, I'll take it. Let's 
the show begin. <laughs> Astra Abyssosk. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Ad Astra Abyssosk.
Check this out! Let's dance! Commit it to memory! Torb to oblivion! There is no escape! Shine down! Now you shall perish! Fire it up! I got you covered! Let the show be! This way, Trailer! The Temple of Wisdom! Trans... Don't get too close! Here's Becca! Torn to oblivion! Grow, grow, grow! Sharing my knowledge! I see everything! Let's dance! Illusion shattered! Now you shall perish! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> There is no 
now escape! Supporting fire! Torn to oblivion! <laughs> Propagate! Sir! Game's up! Turn this over! Gotcha! Welcome here. Let's play a pretty little. No, no, no. Make yourself a room. This moment will be frozen in time. Free. Things uh, are about to get dicey. Uh, Bust it. Uh, uh,
your head. Go get it, you aggressive. Lament. Worthless. Useless. Worthless. Tear. Defract. Here you are. Unsightly insects. The wind rises. Teamwork is dream work. Don't get too close. I got you covered. The Temple of Wisdom. Wretched vermin. Squall and fury. to compel.
time for takeoff. Yes! Committed to memory. Yes! Share my knowledge. Diana special! Thank you! Here we go! Time for takeoff. Yeah. Wrap up the flame. Incinerate. Committed to memory. Can't handle your drink. Thank you. Think you can get away? <laughs> Let's play. Drinks at the cat's tail. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, hey, it's you, traveler. Uh, huh? <laughs> You've never heard of the cat's tail? <sighs> Judging from your expression, seems like you really don't know the place. <laughs> Boy, have you been missing out. The Cat's Tail is renowned for its incredible specialty drinks. I'm talking uh, drinks you've uh, definitely never tasted before. And, just as its name suggests, there are loads of cute kitties at the Cat's Tail. Time simply starts slipping away when you're enjoying a delicious specialty cocktail and surrounded by a bunch of cute kitties. Uh, but you don't seem of age to drink yet. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Diona will be there. 
She's the best bartender in all of Mondstadt. It should be a piece of cake for her to whip you up a drink with no alcohol in it. Oh, and uh, not to mention, uh, Diona is also pretty cute, just like a little kitty. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, did I say that out loud? Uh, uh, please don't tell her I said that. Anyway, if you want to check out the cat's tail for yourself, the entrance is just around uh, the back. I'm gonna <laughs> go over there and sober up a bit. I don't think I can handle a fifth round quite yet. <laughs> uh, I drank way too much. All out of ingredients. Again. Ugh. I really don't understand why these adults love to drink so much. Because all the drinks you make are so delicious. All it takes is just one sip and they're hooked. Hmm. And I thought self-control was the most important quality of being an adult. Well, it just so happens that self-control often falls by the wayside when someone's enjoying one of your delicious specialty drinks. All that means is that they're nothing but a bunch of drunkards that don't know when to stop. Hey, who you calling Kitty? Haven't you seen any one of the Cat's Line bloodline before? Oh, hello there. Are you here to visit the Cat's Tail? Oh, you're here for the drinks? Unfortunately, we're pretty much out of ingredients. Besides... Besides... You don't look like you're even old enough to drink yet. A non-alcoholic beverage? There are tons of other places in Mondstadt that serve that. But, seeing as you came all the way to a tavern for a non-alcoholic drink, that must mean you have your own views about alcohol, right? Unless... You just want to try a drink because you think it's the romantic thing that adults do. Huh. Those sleazy old men over there once thought the same thing, you know. Uh, I just don't get why everyone is so obsessed with alcohol. What's so good about it anyway? That's enough, Diona. This traveler obviously made a trip here to have a drink. We should always do our best to satisfy the customer's needs. Consider this the tavern management's request. Ugh. Oh, all right. So one special cocktail is all I need to make, right? Fine. Since you seem to fantasize about alcohol so much, I'll make you something that'll crush whatever dreams you had about the stuff. That way, maybe you won't become another one of those annoying and smelly old drunks. Though we do have some drink base and flavoring ingredients left. Since you're looking for a special drink, I'm willing to put in the effort and search for some special ingredients. But considering the time, I can only make either the drink's base or flavoring more special. So, what'll it be? The drink's base or flavoring to be more unique? Hmm? A drink with a special base, huh? Hmm, looks like you already possess plenty of potential to become a roaring drunkard. I'm gonna have to really knock some sense into you with this one. <clears throat> anyway, let's head to Dadaupa Gorge. I know just the place to find a unique drink base. Should be able to find a special drink base there. An adventurer who visited the tavern told me that he once ventured deep into Dadaupa Gorge and discovered a type of drink inside the cooking pots of a hilly troll tribe who lived there. The drink is actually an herbal soup made by Sama trolls using a variety of ingredients. According to the adventurer, it seems like the Sama trolls made these drinks to grant the tribe more energy. The adventurer also said that just by taking a single whiff of it, and I quote, <clears throat> I 
wasn't able to determine whether or not I took in the smell, because as soon as I tried to smell it, it felt like my nose was being trampled by a hundred forest boars. I couldn't feel my nose anymore, let alone smell anything. <laughs> even though he lost his sense of smell, he still remembered to come and drink. He even started telling me that my delicious cocktails would help his nose regain its sense of smell again. <laughs> what a hopeless drunk. He was probably just exaggerating and hoping for more drinks. But whether or not he was exaggerating is not important. The idea of using a hilly churl drink as a base for my cocktails <laughs> is one I'm definitely interested in. No way! Normal ingredients will never suffice for a special cocktail. We must use something special. Besides, I've never used such ingredients before either. This will be my latest drink. Just wait, and you'll be the first one to try it. Now listen up. I had that old adventurer mark the location for me. So all we have to do is get there and grab what we need. Since we're only on the outskirts of Dadaupa Gorge, we'll have to walk further in. We still have quite a ways to go. I also told my father about the Samaturl Herbal Soup. He said that he would keep an eye out for it. But he's probably just saying that. Once he's had enough drinks in him, he can't even remember his own name. Let alone the herbal soup I need. Hmm? Someone's approaching. Uh, Diona, is that you? Huh? Oh, I know you. You're the one that usually goes hunting with my father. Yeah, my name is Alan. I'm part of the hunting team that draft leads. Huh, so if you're here, that means my father is also somewhere nearby. Well, where is he, huh? Oh, I bet he drank too much again after the hunt and fell asleep somewhere, waiting for someone to drag him back to Springvale. I... Uh, I wish that were the case. I'm afraid that Draft... well... He, he rushed into Dadaupa Gorge by himself. Wait, what? You see, Draft brought us hunting in the area nearby. Thanks to him, the hunt went really well and we managed to catch lots of game. After the hunt, we stopped to rest for a bit before we'd head back to Springvale. So, we started a bonfire, got some barbecue going, and... Well, had a little to drink. Honest, we only drank a little, you know, just to celebrate the hunt. But after a few drinks, Draft started saying that he wanted to go get something from a hilly churl tribe in the depths of Dadaupa Gorge. He refused to let any of us accompany him. Instead, he kept saying that he's a descendant of the Ketzline bloodline and that he could come and go as he pleases in a place like this. Before we could say anything, he rushed out by himself. There's no way we could stop him. I had a hunter who's quick on his feet run back to Springvale to find help and sent a few veteran hunters into the gorge to look for Draft, but... Ugh, that stupid old man. And it's all because he had something to drink, right? I don't know how many times I've told him not to drink. He just won't listen. <sighs> I'll go look for him and see what kind of trouble he's got himself into this time. No, wait. It's too dangerous for you to go alone, Diona. Let's wait for more help to arrive and go find him together. I'm also the cat's line bloodline, and I'm much better on my feet than he is. And most importantly, I don't drink. So I won't be making any of the mistakes that he would. You're... Oh, you're the honorary knight. Oh, there should be nothing to worry about with you by your side. I'll leave you to it. <sighs> you're coming with me to Dadaupa Gorge? There'll be a lot of monsters in there. I wouldn't want to stir them up all at once. So I plan on sneaking by the monsters to find my stupid father. What's your plan? Take them all head on, huh? Well, you are the honorary knight after all. Hmm, huh, that would work too, I suppose. Huh, you can distract the monsters while I sneak around them. Let's head deeper into Dadaupa Gorge. I don't know where my foolish father is, but we can start our search there. And, uh, if the monsters are too strong, then just run away if you can. There are lots of places to hide around here. 
trust me. Wow, all right. <laughs> Let's get to it. I've marked the approximate location on your map. What was that? Some kind of soup? <laughs> or, or herbs? Ugh, just as I suspected. He's completely drunk. Oh, is that you, Diona? <laughs> My beloved daughter. Hmm. What are you doing here anyway? Oh, right. You must be here for... That super herbs, or what was that again? Oh, I found it. Just for you. It's all here in my flask. <laughs> Look, it's full of soup, or whatever this stuff is. Oh, oh come on, Daddy. Pull yourself together. Whew. How much did you have to drink? Not much, really. Just the usual amount. <laughs> Here, take my flask with the herbal soup stuff that you were looking for. I'm going to continue the hunt. <laughs> you know, I saw this huge, I mean huge, hilly hog next to the tribe's camp. Ha! <laughs> you don't know a hilly hog? It's like a forest boar. I saw it next to the hilly churl <laughs> tribe's camp. It's called a hilly hog. Boy, you sure don't know anything about hunting. <laughs> and not only were there hilly hogs, there were hilly hounds, too. Ugh, don't you know anything? <clears throat> well, if we can hunt that hilly hog, it'd mean a lot of food for a long time. Ugh. <sighs> Looks like he's enjoyed himself today. Hey, keep it together. You're not the one that's drunk. Oh, silly old man. Oh, I doubt he can even walk straight in this state. Oh, if we're gonna get him out of here, we need to sober him up. Good thing I know just what to make for him. But given how much he usually drinks, I'll need ingredients that'll pack a real punch. Hmm, perhaps the herbal soup made by the Sama Charles will come in handy. Herbal soup? I've got some right here. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Ah, he's not sobering up anytime soon. I'll stay here and keep an eye on the drunk old fart. Good luck. Uh, take it. The herbal soup is in my flask. I still have that hilly hog to catch. <laughs> or wait, was it a hilly hound? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
you're back. Did you get the herbal soup? Of course. I'll be using some other ingredients that counter intoxication as well. The herbal soup was meant to energize hilly churls, so I'm pretty sure it'll work on my old man too. Hmm. However, I'm not going to mix the concoction myself. Otherwise, even that will turn out delicious. Huh. <sighs> The concoction needs to be as potent as possible. Hey! Maybe you can mix it while I guide you! It's quite simple. Just be sure to mix the ingredients evenly. The stronger it is, the more effective it will be. Let's get started mixing so we can sober him up! <coughs> you used up all the herbal soup, right? Okay. This should be oh, this should be enough. Just keep it away from me. Ooh, my nose can't take it. <laughs> Bring it to my foolish father and have him drink it. Ooh, on second thought, just a good whiff should do the job. Now where's that hilly hound? Come on now. Here, Hilly, Hilly, Hilly. <laughs> what is it? A drink, huh? <laughs> is it alcohol? Perfect. If I just have a little more, that Hilly Hog won't ever outrun me. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> Oh, oh, what? What is that? Please, just, just get it away from me. My head is spinning. So? Are you sober now? Diona? What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, actually, what am I doing here? Oh, I can't remember a thing, and that smell is so horrid, I can't even think straight. Ugh, you drank too much and ran off here by yourself. <sighs> now that you've sobered up, let's get back to the entrance of the valley. Alan's waiting for us there. Uh, just leave that concoction here. I don't ever want to smell it again. Whew. Besides, I doubt it can be used to make any drinks. But it does prove that the Sama Churl's herbal soup is potentially the best ingredient for making the worst possible drink. Alan... Oh, I remember now. I was here to hunt. Wait, that, that, that can't be right. There's no game to hunt here. You are on the hunt for hilly hounds and hilly hogs. Uh, what's that? <laughs> A hilly what now? Uh, you literally are the one just talking about them. Again. You seem pretty proud about it, too. Like you were on an epic hunt or something. Really? I must have had too much to drink again. I don't remember any of that. <sighs> Typical you. All right, let's hurry back and find Alan. Diona, you're not angry, are you? Nope. I don't remember a thing. I promise that I won't drink that much next time. All I remember is that I was out on a hunt with Alan and the others. We stopped somewhere nearby and started barbecuing. I drank a little to celebrate all the game we caught. And the next thing I know, this traveler is making me smell that... thing. And? And that's it. I don't remember anything else. Was there... something important? Oof. Uh, I, oh, Diona, how about you give Daddy a little hint? Come on now. Nope, forget it. Let's just go back and find Alan. It's Diona and the Honorary Knight. You've brought Traff back. Oh, what happened to you, Traff? You look awful. I was sobered up. 
Don't worry, I'm fine now. I just need to go back and get some rest. Uh, Alan, if you could give me a hand. Oh, of course. Diona, Traveler, thank you for all your help. I will be taking Draft back to Springvale now. He looks like he's going to have to rest for quite some time. See? This is what happens when you drink. Just remember that. No drinking! But who knows what'll happen in the future? Just remember, drinking causes nothing but trouble. Alcohol is poison. It makes people foolish and makes them do terrible things. It somehow brings out the worst side of the best people. That includes incredible hunters like my daddy. After drinking, he's worse than a hilly hog and a hilly hound, or oh, whatever he calls those things. <sighs> Unfortunately, we used up all the herbal soup you managed to get just to sober him up. But no use crying over spilt milk. I'll have to make you a drink some other time. Let's head back. It's getting late. Was that some kind of soup <coughs> or uh, herbs? Oh. Ugh! Just as I suspected, he's completely drunk. Oh, is that you, Diona? <laughs> My beloved daughter. Hmm. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, right. You must. <clears throat> be here for that super herbs or what was that again? Oh, I found it just for you. It's all here in my flask. <laughs> Look, it's full of soup or whatever this stuff is. <clears throat> oh, come on, Daddy. Pull yourself together. Whew. How much did you have to drink? Not much, really. Just usual amount. 
Here, take my flask with the herbal soup stuff that you were looking for. I'm going to continue the hunt. <laughs> you know, I saw this huge, I mean huge, hilly hog next to the tribe's camp. Ha! <laughs> you don't know a hilly hog? It's like a forest boar. I saw it next to the hilly churl <laughs> tribe's camp. It's called a hilly hog. Boy, you sure don't know anything about hunting. <laughs> And not only were there hilly hogs, there were hilly hounds, too. Ugh, don't you know anything? <clears throat> well, if we can hunt that hilly hog, it'd mean a lot of food for a long time. Ugh, looks like he's enjoyed himself today. Hey, keep it together. You're not the one that's drunk. Oh, silly old man! Oh, I doubt he can even walk straight in this state. <sighs> if we're gonna get him out of here, we need to sober him up. Good thing I know just what to make for him. But given how much he usually drinks, I'll need ingredients that'll pack a real punch. Hmm, perhaps the herbal soup made by the Sama Charles will come in handy. trust a single word this old drunk says. But go ahead and talk to him if you believe him. <sighs> it's probably nothing but some leftover booze in his flask anyway. Hmm? Oh, sure, dear, take it. Just don't spill it. It took a lot of... <clears throat> a lot of work to get that stuff. <sighs> you actually asked him for the soup? Come on! Don't waste any more time, there's only... Oh, oh, what's that smell? <coughs> Get that stuff away from me. Oh, yeah, that's awful. Wait, <coughs> Ugh. could this really be that herbal soup? How about that? Daddy remembered what you <coughs> told me. Uh, give your old man some credit. I made a promise and I kept it. <laughs> Wouldn't ever let my baby down. <laughs> my genius father. What are you gonna use to hold your booze in now that you filled your flask with this stuff? Hmm? I'll just drink straight from the bottle. <laughs> it's not a problem. <laughs> not a problem at all. Right, I'll whip up a concoction to sober him up. It won't take long. This soup was meant to give Hilly Churls energy. Combined with some ingredients I have, this should snap him right out of it. <laughs> Good thing I brought my shaker with me. <sighs> It'd be a waste to use up all the ingredients at once. Hmm. I have my ways. Just sit back and watch. <sighs> all right. It's finished. Here, Daddy, drink this. No, I, I can't drink anymore. I, if I drink more, my daughter will be very angry with me. No more. Can't drink anymore. Drinking is bad. Huh? Why would he remember stuff like that now? Oh, come on. Just drink it. <gasps> Oh, hey, this tastes pretty good. Fine, I'll drink a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Yeah, that's right. Just a little bit. Now down the hatch. <laughs> wow. Wow, that was incredible. Huh? What are you doing here, Diona? Oh, and why does my head hurt so bad? <sighs> that seemed to do the trick. If you're sober now, then let's hurry and get out of here. Uh, huh? Oh, right. I remember now. I came here looking for something. I think it was some kind of herbal soup or something. Yeah, that's it. Herbal soup. 
The one you told me about last time, Diona. Samatros make that stuff, and, and I found it. I filled my whole flask with it, too. It'll definitely be enough for you. It's right here. It... Wait. Where's my flask? Oh, no. I didn't lose it, did I? Really? Did I drink too much again? Oh... Never mind, Daddy. I'm already used to it. Now that you're sober, let's start heading back. Alan and the others are waiting at the entrance. Ah, that's right. Uh, I completely forgot about Alan. How do you feel, Daddy? If you still can't walk, the Traveler can help you. No, no, I'm fine. Let's get going. <sighs> I must have gotten carried away with my drinking again. Diona, I'm... Oh. <sighs> Daddy, I've seen it all before. Besides, you've done way weirder things when you've been drinking. Like, the time you chased dogs around town calling them hilly hounds. Or that other time you filled empty bottles with the town's spring water and kept chugging them. Oh, oh and don't forget that time you begged my wife to write you a song about a hunter and his... <sighs> loyal hilly hounds. All right, all right, that's enough. The Traveler can hear you, you know. <laughs> what you did this time was actually pretty normal compared to what you've done in the past. <sighs> Good thing I found that herbal soup. Otherwise, we really would have been up a creek without a paddle. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Huh? What did you say? I couldn't hear you very well. Um, I, I said don't drink so much. Okay, okay, I know. I'll... Try to drink less from now on. <laughs> Silly old man. <clears throat> it's Diona and the Honorary Knight! You've brought Draft back! Thank goodness you're all right. I was about to report to the Knights of Favonius if you took any longer. Are you okay, Draft? I'm fine, thanks to Diona and the Traveler. Otherwise, things might have ended very differently. Alan, go round up the others. Let's tally up our game and head back to Springvale. Understood. I'll get right on it. Diona, Traveler. Will you be coming back to Springvale with us? No, we only came here for the herbal soup. And since you've already found it for us, we'll return to Mondstadt. All right. Oh, but do you still have enough left over after making this stuff to sober me up? <laughs> of course we do. I'm a professional bartender. There's no way I'd use up all my ingredients at once. <laughs> the remainder will be enough for what I need. We'll be on our way back to Mondstadt then. Just hurry up and get yourself back to Springfield, Daddy. Oh, and don't drink so much! I know, I know. Don't worry. I mean, I don't even have my flask anymore. Yeah, right. Who knows how many more of those you have? Traveler, we've gathered all the ingredients we need. Now let's head back to the cat's tail. And when we arrive, I'll make you a supreme specialty drink that will shatter every fantasy you've ever had about booze. Uh, drinking sure causes a lot of trouble. I really need to control myself from now on. Draft, everyone's ready. We can head out once we've tallied up the hunt. <laughs> my shaker and pour out the herbal soup from the old man's flask. What's wrong? Didn't you want a cocktail? Why are you just staring like that? Ah, so that's what you're wondering. Huh, I can't help it. Basically, any drink that's made by my hands can only be a good drink. 
<sighs> this isn't bartender's pride talking. This is a fact! Regardless of the type of ingredients or method, as long as I make the drink myself, it's bound to be delicious! Oh, however, that's just the way it is for now. I've been searching for a solution, and the herbal soup is one of the ingredients that I've been searching for. And once I find the solution, I'll show those old booze hounds how terrible alcohol really is! <laughs> ah, anyway, aren't you here for a drink yourself? Come on in! I have plenty of ingredients to whip you up something special inside. And after I make you my specialty drink, <laughs> I promise you'll never want to set foot in another tavern ever again! Uh, well, yeah. But I also said that's only for now. There are plenty of methods and ingredients I haven't tried yet. <sighs> ah, just hurry up and come in. And prepare for a specialty drink that I'm making just for you. Meow. <laughs> Gorge is just up ahead. We should be able to find a special drink base there. An adventurer who visited the tavern told me that he once ventured deep into Dadaupa Gorge and discovered a type of drink inside the cooking pots of a hilly troll tribe who lived there. The drink is actually an herbal soup made by Sama Trolls using a variety of ingredients. According to the adventurer, it seems like the Sama Trolls made these drinks to grant the tribe more energy. The adventurer also said that just by taking a single whiff of it, and I quote, <clears throat> I wasn't able to determine whether or not I took in the smell, because as soon as I tried to smell it, it felt like my nose was being trampled by a hundred forest boars. I couldn't feel my nose anymore, let alone smell anything. <laughs> Even though he lost his sense of smell, he still remembered to come and drink. He even started telling me that my delicious cocktails would help his nose regain its sense of smell again. Hm. What a hopeless drunk. He was probably just exaggerating and hoping for more drinks. But whether or not he was exaggerating is not important. The idea of using a hilly churl drink as a base for my cocktails <laughs> is one I'm definitely interested in. Of course! You wanted a specialty drink, right? Special drinks require special ingredients. No need to worry. This'll be one drink you'll remember forever. Now listen up. I had that old adventurer mark the location for me. So all we have to do is get there and grab what we need. Since we're only on the outskirts of Dadaupa Gorge, we'll have to walk further in. We still have quite a ways to go. I also told my father about the Samaturl herbal soup. He said that he would keep an eye out for it. But he's probably just saying that. Once he's had enough drinks in him, he can't even remember. Hmm? Someone's approaching. Uh, Diona, is that you? Huh? Oh, I know you. You're the one that usually goes hunting with my father. Yeah, my name is Alan. I'm part of the hunting team that draft leads. Huh. So if you're here, that means my father is also somewhere nearby. Well, where is he, huh? 
Oh, I bet he drank too much again after the hunt and fell asleep somewhere, waiting for someone to drag him back to Springvale. I... Uh, I wish that were the case. I'm afraid that Draft... well... He, he rushed into Dada Upa Gorge by himself. Wait, what? You see, Draft brought us hunting in the area nearby. Thanks to him, the hunt went really well and we managed to catch lots of game. After the hunt, we stopped to rest for a bit before we'd head back to Springvale. So, we started a bonfire, got some barbecue going, and... Well, had a little to drink. Honest, we only drank a little, you know, just to celebrate the hunt. But after a few drinks, Draft started saying that he wanted to go get something from a hilly churl tribe in the depths of Dada Upa Gorge. He refused to let any of us accompany him. Instead, he kept saying that he's a descendant of the Ketzline bloodline and that he could come and go as he pleases in a place like this. Before we could say anything, he rushed out by himself. There's no way we could stop him. I had a hunter who's quick on his feet run back to Springvale to find help, and sent a few veteran hunters into the gorge to look for Draft, but... Ugh, that stupid old man. And it's all because he had something to drink, right? I don't know how many times I've told him not to drink. He just won't listen. Ugh, I'll go look for him and see what kind of trouble he's got himself into this time. No, wait! It's too dangerous for you to go alone, Diona. Let's wait for more help to arrive and go find him together. I'm also the Cat's Line bloodline, and I'm much better on my feet than he is. And most importantly, I don't drink. So I won't be making any of the mistakes that he would. You're... Oh, you're the honorary knight. Oh, there should be nothing to worry about with you by your side. I'll leave you to it. <sighs> You're coming with me to Dadaupa Gorge? There'll be a lot of monsters in there. I wouldn't want to stir them up all at once. So I plan on sneaking by the monsters to find my stupid father. What's your plan? Really? All right then. But if you do startle them, be sure not to lure them to me. Actually... <laughs> It wouldn't really matter because you won't be able to figure out where I'm headed anyway. Let's pounce to it then. I'll mark the route on your map. Oh, make sure to stick to the route. I'm not coming back for you if you get lost. <laughs> hey. There's loads of monsters ahead. Be careful. You don't want to shake up the entire gorge, do you? And d -d -don't, don't think that I'm worried about you. Because I'm not. If you get noticed, then I'll definitely be in trouble too. So, so just be, be careful, okay? hidden. Otherwise, they'll spot you. Just hide in the bushes if there's no other way. Don't, don't... 
and stay hidden. Otherwise, they'll spot you. Just hide in the bushes if there's no other way. Looks like we won't be... at the cat's tail. Not bad. Not... Oh, hey! It's you, traveler! Uh, huh? <laughs> You've never heard of the cat's tail? <sighs> Judging from your expression, seems like you really don't know the place. <laughs> Boy, have you been missing out! The Cat's Tale is renowned for its incredible specialty drinks. I'm talking uh, drinks you've uh, definitely never tasted before. And, just as its name suggests, there are loads of cute kitties at the Cat's Tail. Time simply starts slipping away when you're enjoying a delicious specialty cocktail and surrounded by a bunch of cute kitties. Uh, but you don't seem of age to drink yet. <sighs> well, that shouldn't be a problem. Diona will be there. She's the best bartender in all of Mondstadt. It should be a piece of cake for her to whip you up a drink with no alcohol in it. Oh, and uh, not to mention, uh, Diona is also pretty cute. Just like a little kitty. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, did I say that out loud? Uh, uh, please don't tell her I said that. 
Anyway, if you want to check out the cat's tail for yourself, the entrance is just around uh, the back. I'm gonna <laughs> go over there and sober up a bit. I don't think I can handle a fifth round quite yet. <laughs> uh, I drank way too much already. All out of ingredients. Again. Ugh! I really don't understand why these adults love to drink so much. Because all the drinks you make are so delicious. All it takes is just one sip and they're hooked. Hmm. Huh. And I thought self-control was the most important quality of being an adult. Well, it just so happens that self-control often falls by the wayside when someone's enjoying one of your delicious specialty drinks. All that means is that they're nothing but a bunch of drunkards that don't know when to stop. Hey! Who you calling Kitty? Haven't you seen anyone of the Cat's Line bloodline before? Oh, hello there. Are you here to visit the Cat's Tail? Here for the kitties, huh? <laughs> I suppose we do have a lot of cute cats here. They're all quite friendly. In fact, many other customers are here for the same reason. After all, there aren't many places in Mondstadt where you can just relax and interact with friendly cats. Hmm. I've never seen such a bunch of arrogant and stubborn cats. I don't understand why people like them so much. Besides, shouldn't the main purpose for going to a tavern be drinking without getting cat hair in your beverage? What kind of reason is that? So long as they're cute, nothing else matters? Well, judging from the customers, that seems to be the case. <laughs> See? This traveler is here for the cats as well. However, you've come at a most unfortunate time. Our cats seem to have snuck out to play somewhere. If you're willing to wait, Diona here should be able to bring them back shortly. Huh? When did I agree to go fetch those little troublemakers? Consider it a task straight from tavern management. Besides, the cats are quite fond of you, so you're the natural pick for the job. <sighs> They're probably just bored and wandering off to get people's attention. Is that so? <laughs> well, anyway, it'll be up to you to bring them back here. Oh, and didn't you say that you're here to see the kitties? If you're up for it, perhaps you could accompany Diona to retrieve them. Maybe after interacting with them for a bit, the cats will get to know you and seek more of your attention. The three cats that snuck out are Roger, Nelson, and Paisley. Diona, you usually take care of them, so you should be quite familiar with these three, right? Ugh, them again. And they even dare to sneak out during working hours. <sighs> Don't they have any sense of duty as tavern cats? Come on, not every kitty can be as reliable and caring as you, Diona. I am not a cat! Whatever. So all we have to do is bring them back to the tavern, right? Well, it shouldn't be a problem. Let's scurry out of here. They love wandering around the center of town, so let's check there first. I'll leave you to it. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on things here at the tavern. Once you've found the little rascals, please bring them right back. Hmm, their tracks end here. Looks like they ran off somewhere else. Ugh, don't worry. Those cats are very stubborn. But it's because they're stubborn that they're also easy to understand. <laughs> I have another idea. Let's pay a visit to Marjorie at With Wind Comes Glory. Roger broke his cat toy recently and I ordered him a new one there. 
Maybe he snuck out because he didn't have anything to play with. I... I only know these things because I want them to do their job and not mess around. Come on, let's head over to Marjorie's store. Oh, hello, Diona. You must be here for the cat toy you ordered. I just finished preparing it and made it extra durable according to your request. Your kitty should be able to play with this one for quite some time. Much appreciated. Marker will come and settle the fees later. No problem. So, that cat named Roger, is he usually at the cat's tail? <laughs> That's right. He's almost always in the tavern. Wonderful. I'll definitely make some time to head to the tavern and play with him. Oh, I see. Well, you're welcome to visit any time. I gotta say, you're awfully particular when it comes to taking care of that cat. <laughs> you even provided me a list of materials to use for his cat toy. Well, that's just because Roger tends to get excited whenever he plays with the customers. He always ends up ruining his toy. This time we needed to make it more durable so that it would last longer. He usually just lounges on the cabinets when no one's around. You really think so? <laughs> well, I'm not interested in figuring out what those cats are thinking. They're just stubborn. That's how all cats are. Let's head over to Sarah at Good Hunter. She always makes Nelson's cat food. He's the one that always eats the most. And even though he's always eating, he somehow weighs the lightest. <sighs> I really have no idea what he's up to all the time. Welcome to Good Hunter. Oh, hey, Diona. How can I help you? Hello, Sarah. I'd like some more of that cat food I bought last time. Oh, is my favorite kitty Nelson hungry again? <laughs> Hold on one moment. I'll have the kitchen prepare it for you. All right, here's the cat food. It hardly takes any ingredients to make, so it's on the house. But please, if you can bring Nelson with you next time, everyone wants to pet him. Sure, I... I'll see if he wants to come. Nelson's not usually very fond of people, but as soon as he smells some dried fish, he'll do anything you say. And once he starts eating, ugh, he doesn't ever stop. Someone has to drag him away from the food. Kind of like the old drunks at the tavern. But the amount of food isn't too much this time, so it'll be fine if he finishes it all. All right, we have all we need for now. Let's go find Roger and Nelson. We'll deal with Paisley later. Roger always likes to sit in high places. Huh. Maybe we should go check the rooftops. Do you know how to get on top of the buildings here? If not, you can just wait down here and I'll take care of it. Really? You don't look like much of a climber, but if you say so, let's go up and look for Roger together. Roger. Oh, he really picked a high place to sit this time. But don't get too close. If we startle him, he might run away. <sighs> okay. Remember all the things we prepared? Now is the time to make use of them. So, 
do you remember what would be better for attracting Roger? Cat food? Are you sure? <laughs> like I said, Roger would probably prefer the cat toy. Huh, so you do remember. Well, hurry up and take out the cat toy then. Wow! He let his guard down almost immediately. Looks like he was just waiting for someone to come and play with him. Oh, that little rascal. He always looks so smug, but the moment he sees people, he suddenly becomes all loving and affectionate. No wonder the customers like him so much. The first thing they ask when they visit the tavern is if Roger's around. Eesh. Yeah, that's the problem. Who cares about specialty drinks when you have these fluffy little kitties to play with, right? Ah, <sighs> if you ask me. The tavern doesn't need any more new drinks to attract customers. Just get more cats and people will come. All right, let's bring along Roger and go find Nelson. Now, Nelson likes places that are warm. In fact, the last time I went looking for him, I found him in the bush next to the blacksmith. So, let's go look for him there. Yep, <laughs> I knew we'd find Nelson here. And he looks like he's about to fall asleep. Huh. Could it really be more comfortable than in the tavern? Anyway, let's take out the things we've prepared. I'll let you choose which to give him. That's right, Nelson loves eating this stuff. The cat food will definitely make him happy. Don't the customers at the tavern already feed you enough? How can you still be so excited to see food all the time? Oh, and there you go, snarfing everything down as always. Why do customers like you so much? They even fight over who gets to feed you. Are you just pretending to be hungry all the time? Just to get the customers to come take care of you? Huh, what a cheeky little guy. No wonder customers completely forget about their drinks after seeing him. Of course! <laughs> you should see the looks on those old drunks' faces when Nelson spills over their cocktails in the tavern! <laughs> <sighs> Go ahead, pick him up. He doesn't weigh much. I really have no idea how he stays so light. All right, let's go find Paisley. He used to always sneak out to go to the cathedral before. So, let's start there. Nope, he doesn't like either of the things that Roger and Nelson like. I'll tell you more when we get there. where I thought I'd find you, Paisley. Eh, we don't need to do anything. Paisley doesn't fancy anything special. He just does whatever he's in the mood for. To sum it up, he's just a self-centered little cat. Even back at the tavern, he hardly ever interacts with any customers. Usually he prefers to just play with the other kitties. <sighs> but enough about Paisley. Let's just take him and head back. I'll pick him up. He doesn't usually run away when I carry him in the tavern. Uh, wait... You want to pick him up? I'm telling you, Paisley just ignores strangers. 
Listen, Paisley. Just be good and stay there, okay? Oh, good kitty. Hmm, that'll do. <laughs> you really are pretty cute when you're being good. Uh, hey! Why are you looking at me like that, huh? He only listens to me because I feed him all the time. That's all. For some reason, many customers actually like his personality. Once Paisley bobbles his head at them, they all start looking like they'll be willing to buy him cat food for the rest of his life. <sighs> if only we got a few more cats at the cat's tail, then I wouldn't need to spend all my time making drinks anymore. All I'd have to do is take care of the kitties and let the customers come and pet them. You agree as well? Ugh, fine. Once I get back, I'll suggest getting a few more cats and let them attract all the customers. <sighs> My specialty drinks aren't what the customers are after anyway. You know what? Just bring the cats back to the tavern. That's why you came in the first place, right? To see the cats. <laughs> I'll walk back myself. I have to hurry back. I convinced the tavern to hire a few more cats. They're the key to attracting customers, after all. Cocktails. <laughs> no need for those anymore. I really envy those with a god time. Roger. Oh, he really picked a high place to sit this time. But don't get too close. If we startle him, he might run away. <sighs> okay. Remember all the things we prepared? Now is the time to make use of them. So, do you remember what would be better for attracting Roger? Hey, you've got a pretty good memory. That's right. Cat toys are Roger's favorite. Wow! He let his guard down almost immediately. Looks like he was just waiting for someone to come and play with him. Oh, that little rascal. He always looks so smug, but the moment he sees people, he suddenly becomes all loving and affectionate. No wonder the customers like him so much. The first thing they ask when they visit the tavern is if Roger's around. Eesh. Well, obviously, the cat's tail is a tavern, after all. No matter how cute these little kitties are, they're only there to compliment my cocktails. All right, let's bring along Roger and go find Nelson. Now, Nelson likes places that are warm. In fact, the last time I went looking for him, I found him in the bush next to the blacksmith. So, let's go look for him there. Yep! <laughs> I knew we'd find Nelson here. And he looks like he's about to fall asleep. Huh. Could it really be more comfortable than in the tavern? Anyway, let's take out the things we've prepared. I'll let you choose which to give him. 
Are you sure you want to use that? I'm pretty sure I told you what he likes before. Have you forgotten already? <sighs> you really don't know how to make cats happy, do you? Fine, if you insist, have it your way. See? He didn't even glance at the cat toy. <sighs> Come on, just hurry up and take out the cat food. Hmm. Don't the customers at the tavern already feed you enough? How can you still be so excited to see food all the time? Oh, and there you go, snarfing everything down as always. Why do customers like you so much? They even fight over who gets to feed you. Are you just pretending to be hungry all the time? Just to get the customers to come take care of you? Huh, what a cheeky little guy. No wonder customers completely forget about their drinks after seeing him. Take a hint? From him? Ha! Huh, forget it! We should probably just get more cats at the tavern. They seem to attract more customers than my drinks. <sighs> Go ahead, pick him up. He doesn't weigh much. I really have no idea how he stays so light. All right, let's go find Paisley. He used to always sneak out to go to the cathedral before. So, let's start there. Nope, he doesn't like either of the things that Roger and Nelson like. I'll tell you more when we get there. where I thought I'd find you, Paisley. Yeah, we don't need to do anything. Paisley doesn't fancy anything special. He just does whatever he's in the mood for. To sum it up, he's just a self-centered little cat. Even back at the tavern, he hardly ever interacts with any customers. Usually he prefers to just play with the other kitties. <sighs> but enough about Paisley. Let's just take him and head back. I'll pick him up. He doesn't usually run away when I carry him in the tavern. Uh, wait. You want to pick him up? I'm telling you, Paisley just ignores strangers. See? No response at all. Here, just let me do it. Listen, Paisley. Just be good and stay there, okay? Oh, good kitty. Hmm, that'll do. <laughs> you really are pretty cute when you're being good. Uh, hey! Why are you looking at me like that, huh? He only listens to me because I feed him all the time. That's all. For some reason, many customers actually like his personality. Once Paisley bobbles his head at them, they all start looking like they'll be willing to buy him cat food for the rest of his life. If only we got a few more cats at the cat's tail, then I wouldn't need to spend all my time making drinks anymore. All I'd have to do is take care of the kitties and let the customers come and pet them. <laughs> well, of course. If it weren't for the more of my drinks bring in, how would we pay for their toys and food? Roger, Nelson, and Paisley. Yep, we found them all. Let's hurry and bring them back. Otherwise, they won't be able to work when the tavern opens tomorrow. Looks like the kitties are back, as well as our customer. Hey, I'm not one of the cats! 
Of course. In fact, Diona is our best bartender. Hmm. Please don't misunderstand my work as a bartender here. It's actually the first step in my plan of bringing destruction to Mondstadt's alcohol industry. You've seen the drunkards stumbling around the city, right? No matter how well-dressed or honest of a person they actually are, once they start drinking, they become terrible people. Nothing good comes of alcohol. It makes people foolish, lazy, and ugly. That's why I plan on making the most disgusting drink there ever was. Everyone will realize how terrible alcohol really is. That way, Mondstadt will finally be rid of alcohol and freed from its snarling teeth. Of course. And that's why I became a bartender in the first place. I must understand anything and everything there is to know about alcohol. This is the first step in my plan. Angel Shear? Huh! Don Winery is the root cause behind all the drunks stumbling around Mondstadt. I wouldn't go anywhere even remotely associated with them. Anyway, I'll find a way to make my diabolical cocktail and keep everyone away from alcohol. <laughs> Although I haven't discovered hell yet, but I will. Anyway, didn't you come all this way to just see the cats? Now that all three of them are back in the tavern, why don't you go inside and play with them? Oh, and, and in return for all your help, I'll make a special drink just for you. Not alcoholic, of course. Drinks at the cat's tail. Oh, hey, it's you, traveler. Uh, huh? <laughs> You've never heard of the cat's tail? <sighs> Judging from your expression, seems like you really don't know the place. <laughs> Boy, have you been missing out. <sighs> the cat's tail is renowned for its incredible specialty drinks. I'm talking uh, drinks you've uh, definitely never tasted before. And, just as its name suggests, there are loads of cute kitties at the cat's tail. Time simply starts slipping away when you're enjoying a delicious specialty cocktail and surrounded by a bunch of cute kitties. Ah, uh, but you don't seem of age to drink yet. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be a problem. It should be a piece. Oh, and uh, no. Uh, uh, anyway, if you, I'm gonna. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. ingredients. Again. Ugh! I really don't understand why these adults love to drink so much. Because all the drinks you make are so delicious. All it takes is just one sip and they're hooked. Hmm. Huh. And I thought self-control was the most important quality of being an adult. Well, it just so happens that self-control often falls by the wayside when someone's enjoying one of your delicious specialty drinks. 
All that means is that they're nothing but a bunch of drunkards that don't know when to stop. Hey, who you calling Kitty? Haven't you seen any one of the Cat's Line bloodline before? Oh, hello there. Are you here to visit the Cat's Tail? Oh, you're here for the drinks? Unfortunately, we're pretty much out of ingredients. Besides... Besides... You don't look like you're even old enough to drink yet. Ha! Huh, that's what every underage person says when they come here trying to sneak a drink. Unless... You just want to try a drink because you think it's the romantic thing that adults do. Huh. Those sleazy old men over there once thought the same thing, you know. Uh, I just don't get why everyone is so obsessed with alcohol. What's so good about it anyway? That's enough, Diona. This traveler obviously made a trip here to have a drink. We should always do our best to satisfy the customer's needs. Consider this the tavern management's request. Ugh. Oh, all right. So one special cocktail is all I need to make, right? Fine. Since you seem to fantasize about alcohol so much, I'll make you something that'll crush whatever dreams you had about the stuff. That way, maybe you won't become another one of those annoying and smelly old drunks. Though we do have some drink base and flavoring ingredients left. Since you're looking for a special drink, I'm willing to put in the effort and search for some special ingredients. But considering the time, I can only make either the drink's base or flavoring more special. So, what'll it be? The drink's base or flavoring to be more unique? Hmm. A drink with special flavoring, huh? Well, that'll be easy enough. I was planning on looking for some more flavorings anyway. Hmm. I got a list of things we can search for. Hmm. Let's go visit Blanche first. I placed an order for some flavoring ingredients that should be ready by now. Welcome. Is there anything you need? Hello, Blanche. I came to pick up my order. Diana, let me see. Yes, 15 lizard tails, 7 vials of butterfly dust. Hmm, everything other than the bottle of frog mucus is ready. Ah, no rush on that. I'll take whatever's ready. Someone from the tavern will come to settle the bill later. All right. Thank you for your business. Well, <laughs> yeah, I did ask Tobias before about what ingredients they use to improve the taste of alchemic medicine. He mentioned things like lizard tails and crystal cores, but I think crystal cores overlap too much with the texture of ice cubes, so I chose not to use them. I have, however, always wanted to try frog mucus. According to Timaeus, it can make the texture of a drink as thick as mud. <laughs> no! Now, all we have left to get is some fish scales and slime condensate. Let's search for those in the wild. Once we have everything, I can make you that drink. <laughs> Demons do not stop for the raid. Move. Squall and Fury! Ah, we made it! Whether it's the meat skin or tails, the fish here have great texture and quality. Hum. also have a strong but interesting grass-like scent to the meat and scales here, too. Most people can't handle it, but to the foodies that have unique tastes, it's amazing! Wait, no, no, I just overheard stuff from a bunch of old drunks while I was making drinks. 
Oh, please. Not like I went out of my way to learn about fish or anything. Anyways, just go down there and catch us a few fresh fish. I have way too many ingredients here, and it'd be a hassle for me. And you're almost as good at catching fish as the cats I look after. First, we need to scrape off the scales. Oh, and make sure you also collect the mucus on the fish. Ooh, ooh, whoa, the smell of fish. Ooh, along with that unique grassy smell, it's ah, so strong. Mm. But that's okay. It's the potent aroma we need. <laughs> it's too much for you, huh? Hmm, I guess I can understand. You're not a professional bartender. After all, your tolerance for special ingredients is not like mine. All right. That'll just about do it. Soaking the scales and the mucus collected from the fish will help preserve them for now. Next, we need to get some slime condensate. I know a place with tons of slime. Let's go! <laughs> for it just ahead. Huh. If I go after those slimes, I might ruin all the ingredients I have with me. And that would be bad. Can uh, you defeat those slimes and bring me the slime condensate? people who don't drink can fight like that. Hmm, I think slime condensate will intensify the taste and texture of the drink. <laughs> you might be a little unfamiliar, but aside from the taste of the alcohol, those old drunkards are also very keen on the texture of the drink. They've even invented a number of phrases to describe it. For example, sticky like honey, or refreshing as the springs. Pugh. They use beautified ways of describing their drinks. But drinking is drinking. It doesn't matter how you make it sound. Alcohol is still a terrible thing. Huh. The reason I want to use slime condensate is because I want a dense, sticky consistency. Once I put this into a drink, I'm sure it'll preserve its form and start absorbing the alcohol quickly. Oh, those old boozers wanted to try something different, huh? <laughs> well, they can try this. Sticky, gooey, drunken slime! So I can make the worst drink conceivable and show everyone the true nature of alcohol! 
<sighs> in order to attract customers, taverns use all kinds of strategies and schemes to make people believe that alcohol is not only good, but a necessity. Huh. They use special ingredients, come up with fancy names, and promote limited time drinks for holidays and events. They come up with all kinds of reasons to get people drinking. And Don Winery's at the heart of it all. They have no boundaries when it comes to selling alcohol. Their one and only goal is to make sure that people keep drinking and that their own pockets get filled with Mora. Not only is it a crime, but it's also a scam. No good can come from alcohol. My mission is to make the worst drink ever and to wake people up and free Mondstadt from the jaws of alcoholism. <sighs> That is why I'm always searching for new ingredients and experimenting with them. Uh, however, up until now, I haven't been able to make a single bad drink, no matter what ingredients I use. All the drinks I mix only make those deadbeat drunks all the happier! Uh! <sighs> I've already lost track of how many kinds of ingredients I've tried. I've even used ingredients way more unusual than this! and have yet to ever succeed. <sighs> I really don't know what I need to do to make the most horrendous drink in the world! Wow! A different way? What are you trying to say? That my methods aren't professional enough? <laughs> Believe you me, I've done my research. I've studied how to handle a shaker, adjust the temperature of the glasses, and even the subtle techniques of stirring. My mixing technique? You're saying the reason I can't make terrible tasting drinks is because of my technique? Hmm. Huh. It's true that I've never been professionally trained, but... I hear from the old drunkards that it's very complicated, that every step must be precise, that even the slightest mistake is unacceptable. Or else... That, that, that's right! Or else the drink will taste bad! Oh, oh, I see! I've never thought of it this way before. First, we need to find someone to ask about the techniques of mixing a great drink. Then, we use the same ingredients and purposely mess up every step of the process! Ho oh, ho ho! Yeah! This might finally work! Woohoo! Wait a second. How did you come up with this idea? You don't secretly drink a lot, do you? That's a good thing. It'd be best to never have a single drop. <sighs> Alright then. First, I need to find a professional bartender. One that I could consult about the ways of mixing a drink professionally. <laughs> now where could I find someone? Hmm. Ugh, does this mean I need to go to Angel Share? <gasps> or Dawn Winery? Mm, nope, nope, uh-uh, never. I refuse to ever set paw in those places. Don't even ask. I have my own reasons. Let's head back first. We've collected plenty of ingredients. As for the mixing techniques... I'll figure it out another way. Diona? A and this is? Oh, it's the honorary knight. Oh, what a coincidence running into you two here. Are you out collecting ingredients? So what are you planning to whip up this time? It's always a surprise to see what you make. I myself know a thing or two about mixing drinks. But Elzer tells me that my drinks can't even compare to Diona's. Uh, they seem to lack that special something. I've been looking for some inspiration, but I've been stuck in a rut. I'm not sure whether it's the traditional techniques I use, or if I'm just too conservative with my ingredients. You mean I should ask him for some professional pointers? Hmm. All right. Perhaps we'll do. Yeah, um... You're trying to find new mixing inspiration, and I'm trying some new recipes out. Maybe... We can exchange some ideas, hmm? Oh! Why, I'd be honored! No problem at all! How 
ever. For the ingredients, we must use the ones I've just collected. I have lizard tails, butterfly dust, fish scales, and slime condensate. Hmm. We need to use these materials, huh? Well, I guess it's time for me to expand my repertoire as well. <laughs> Let's go back to the winery. I have some basic mixing tools there. Y you, you mean we have to go to Dawn Winery? Couldn't we also go to Angel's Share? I mean, they have a full range of mixing tools. Hmm. Well, you are the bartender at the Cat's Tail, right? Given that the Cat's Tail and Angel's Share are competitors, it would be rather inappropriate if you were to mix drinks there. That would probably cause quite a bit of trouble for Margaret as well. Besides, there are many loyal patrons at Angel Share. With your reputation, it'd cause quite a commotion if you were to be seen mixing drinks there. In any case, I wouldn't recommend going to Angel Share. Besides, the winery's close by. There's no need for us to go so far. Speaking of the winery, won't that guy Elzer be there? Elzer? Sure, he'll be there. But he's been busy lately taking care of guild matters. Why do you ask? <laughs> just as long as he's not around, our little exchange here is between just the two of us. It'd be best if others don't get involved. Oh, except for the traveler here. We've been out collecting ingredients together. He's kind of like, uh, my assistant. He'll be allowed to participate. <laughs> um, <laughs> fine by me. Shall we get going? The winery isn't far. We'll be there in no time. Oh, you're here! Look, I've already prepared all the tools we need. Sure, they're a little... basic, but they should do just fine. I've also prepared a top-shelf bottle of dandelion wine to use as a drink base. Oh, I've also heard that you don't like to see people drink too much, am I right? So today, we'll strictly just exchange techniques. There will be no talk of drinking, and even if we try the drinks, we'll just only have a little taste. How's that sound? Fine, I suppose. These tools will suffice. Uh, <laughs> well, we've always been hoping to invite Diona to our winery to instruct us on her techniques of mixing drinks. Though the preparations have been made, we've just never had the chance. So how could I not be fully prepared now that she's willing to come today? Oh, and to keep things fair, we'll need an impartial judge. Well, we have the honorary knight. Yes, but he doesn't look... <laughs> so honest and forthcoming. You are, after all, the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. What impressive discipline. Hmm, then who could we find to be the judge? Connor! There you are! I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? Elzer, your timing couldn't be any more perfect. I'm about to have a little mixing competition with Diona here. What? Really? That's great! Would it be alright if I stayed to observe? Actually, we're looking for a judge. Would you be free to help us out? <laughs> Why, I'd be delighted. It'd be an honor to have an opportunity to have a taste of Diona's craft. 
What's that old Boo Sponge Elzer doing here, hmm? He doesn't think I'm here to collaborate with them, does he? Don't you know? Elzer used to always show up at the cat's tail. Every time he came, he would always be sweet-talking me, trying to get me to work with the Dawn Winery to come up with some sort of new drink. He needs to know that that'll never happen. Not until I figure out how to make the most terrible drink of the world. Uh, so then, shall we begin, Diona? Sure, but like I said before, this is an exchange of techniques as bartenders. Anyone not involved should stay away. What is that supposed to mean? Um, Elzer, why don't you just take a break over there? We'll bring over the drinks once they're finished. Wait, but I was... Elzer, just... <clears throat> oh, right. I shouldn't disturb the mixing process. I'll uh, be over there. Just let me know if you need me. All right, since I invited you here, I'll begin. Lizard Tail's bitter nature will ruin the alcohol's texture and taste. We should soak it in distilled spirits first to remove the bitterness, then add it to the dandelion wine later as flavoring. Hmm. Slime condensate in small amounts could improve the texture, but not too much, otherwise the alcohol might start to coagulate. The smell of these fish scales is way too strong. There's no way it could go in a drink. And is butterfly dust even edible? Ah, oh well. Let's start mixing and see what we end up with. And voila, it's done. Elzer, if you could please do the honors. <clears throat> the color and presentation, hmm, it looks very interesting. Let me have a try. Hmm, upon an initial taste, the impact of the distilled spirits mixed with the refreshing dandelion wine along with a hint of bitterness all work to accentuate the distinct flavor of the drink. And this slightly thicker texture, hmm, <laughs> it really is a memorable drink. Yes, not bad, Connor. Looks like you finally found the right inspiration to guide your mixing techniques. It's all thanks to Diona. If she hadn't asked for this little exchange of skills and provided all the ingredients, then I'd probably still be confined to my old techniques and usual ingredients. However, I wasn't able to find a way to use the butterfly dust and fish scales. <sighs> Seems that my creativity is still quite limited. <laughs> no worries. Not everyone possesses Diona's genius intuition and techniques. No need to be so hard on yourself. So, he actually made something good out of these ingredients. Do you remember all the techniques he used? Oh, the process wasn't too complicated. Next, all we have to do is follow the same steps, but mess them all up! Alright! First, you could try making a drink using the same techniques. Because... Observation and experimentation come first when a professional bartender is faced with a new mixing technique. <laughs> As my assistant, you must try your best to make a horrible, terrible tasting drink. Meanwhile, I'll watch closely and see if there's any room for improvement. So Diona's going to be making the next drink for us, right? I just can't wait to see what she'll be making. But before I do, let's allow my assistant to have a try. He's also very interested in mixing drinks. Is he a bartender as well? Ooh, aren't we lucky. We're in for a treat. Please, this way. All the materials and tools are already prepared. You may start when you're ready.
Huh. They added the whole lizard tail without distilling it. Is this some kind of new mixing technique? Yes! Nicely done! <laughs> Just make everything a total mess! Didn't you hear what I said? You have to mess up every single step. Just add all of it quickly. We don't want any leftovers. That's right! Add all of it! Oh, the streak is just about ready! All right, Elzer. Could you please do the honors for this one as well? <clears throat> uh, on second thought, Connor, I think you should taste this, uh, unique drink. Uh, who knows? Maybe you'll find some more inspiration for your mixing. I'm sorry, but this drink is way too... Uh, creative for me. I'm afraid I couldn't stomach it. <laughs> uh, yes, this drink is uh, very creative. Connor, I think you should taste it. <laughs> Looks like it worked. All we have to do is mess up every step of a professional mixing method, and we end up with an absolutely terrible drink! <laughs> Ahem. Yes, this is a splendid drink you've made. However, I'm afraid we can't serve it to customers like this. Mm, here, hand me the drink. Let's keep the alcohol and dump all the other ingredients. I'll use that as a base to mix a new drink. First, I'll chop the lizard tail into slices. Then, soak it in the drink. Next, add the slime condensate and stir. Then leave it to settle for a bit. Finally, we sprinkle the butterfly dust and... <gasps> oh, wait! I almost forgot the fish scales! Ooh. Okay, let's add it to the drink along with the mucus from the jar. And then... We stir... <laughs> Come on, be dreadful! Be awful! Be absolutely disgusting! Uh, Elzer? Diona is mixing a drink, right? I've never seen such a technique before, but it is Diona after all. She must have her own way, I suppose. And we're done! <laughs> this specialty drink will be the first blow in tearing down the lives of the alcohol industry. Please, have a taste. Come and realize your empty delusions of alcohol. <laughs> Whoa! Th this taste! Why, I've never had anything like it. Let me try. Mm, what a splendid drink! Though the bitterness of an entire lizard tail is quite potent, it is perfectly complemented by the refreshing and sour flavor of the dandelion wine. In addition, the fish scales that were broken up during the stirring process have lost all their fishiness after soaking in the alcohol. The remaining flavor somehow enriches the taste of the drink. The texture of all the slime condensate after fully absorbing all the alcohol has become rich and dynamic. And lastly, the pinch of butterfly dust adds a finishing touch that makes this drink perfect. It is sensational both visually and in taste. Wh what? The drink I made earlier isn't even worth mentioning compared to this one. Ah, oh, and I thought my drink was inspiring. Oh, stop joking around! You two must have drunk so much that your nose and tongue have lost their senses. Huh? Impossible! After all I've done? How is it that my drink still tastes great? Ugh, I must not have messed up enough somewhere. Please, use this drink as your base and try making your drink again. Whatever you do, just make it disgusting!
tail. You, 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 not to mention the butterfly dust everywhere.
though you didn't really follow the process we discussed, it seems that you've actually got quite a knack for this. All right, let's show this to Elzer and Connor. Ooh, is this another one of Diona's new drinks? Ugh, what, what is this? Even if you purposely tried to botch it, it'd still be hard to make something as hideous as this. No, keep it away from me, please. Just take that somewhere else. Huh? What's wrong? This is Diona's specialty drink, right? Let me try. Oh, you are Diona's assistant, after all. Your craft must be ahead of the curve. So far ahead of the curve that I... Oh, I don't feel so good. Sorry, uh, I'm just just gonna go over there. Oh. <clears throat> In my personal and honest opinion, this drink is absolutely oh, terrible. Aren't you supposed to be Diona's assistant? The drinks that she makes are out of this world. You use the same ingredients and followed nearly the same mixing process. But how is it that the drinks she makes are never bad? It's true. No matter what new and unusual ingredients she uses, Diona has never disappointed a single customer. If you don't believe me, you can ask anyone who's ever gone for a drink in Mondstadt. There's not a single soul that doesn't reminisce about your specialty drinks. All it takes is a single sip, and you'd wish that you could drink it for the rest of your life. Dr drink? <gasps> for the rest of your life? Yeah, and the most impressive part of it all is the never-ending list of new ingredients that you are using. No matter what kind of ingredients it may be, if you make it, it'll be delicious. After all, you are the genius bartender of Mondstadt, an originator of unique drinks, and the pinnacle of... Huh? Diona, are you alright? No, Connor, you overdid it. Ah, uh, did I really? Sorry, I couldn't control myself. No, stop! Stop joking around! I can make a drink that tastes like that! Here, watch this! Give me that drink you just made, I'll show you! I'm gonna add all the remaining ingredients. Lizard tails, fish scales, mucus, and the sun condensate. And stir! Come on, be dreadful, be awful, be absolutely disgusting! Ah, it can't be that hard! Done! My own... Oh my, what a fragrance. <gasps> and the color. What is this delightful smell? It's like a whole new sensation for me. What is this unique coloring? Oh, it's... It's another perfect drink. Stop joking around, you two old drunks! The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me.
I really can't recommend that store highly enough. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender loving care. <laughs> Don't you agree? Uh, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. You say that, but do I see your ears saying otherwise? Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. How do you know? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. How could I do such a thing? Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? W wait, no. Why are we still on this topic? In fact, why am I even here talking about tails with you in the first place? Why? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. I think it's very cute. Ugh, I'm trapped. How do I get out of this? It's you! Oh my goodness. Please save me. Oh, and how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? Hey! Not you too! <laughs> Goro, now do you understand how appealing your tail is? Uh, pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have completed the matter you instructed us about previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right, I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically. Something about her is strangely intimidating. I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. You're right. I've heard Her Excellency say the same thing before. In any battle, you need to think about how to avoid your shortcomings. As long as I don't come into contact with Yai Miko, everything should be fine. Okay, whatever you think's best. Let's avoid Yai Publishing House for now. Actually, there's something else I have to sort out while I'm on Narukami Island. It's a personal matter. Back when we were fighting the Shogun's army at Nazuchi Beach, I had a box with me that contained some very important items. The odds were stacked against us that day, and the resistance was forced to retreat. I had to abandon the box, but I managed to quickly bury it first. I went back to collect it on this trip, but it turned out someone had already dug it up. 
so I asked around the area, and the locals said that apparently the Adventurous Guild had beaten me to it. That box is very important to me. I have to get it back from the Adventurous Guild. Would you mind coming along? Thank you so much. Let's head right over. Time is of the essence. <laughs>